should stress as well, beyond looking at delegates, if you just want to look at the popular vote each of these candidates has gained, uh, you, 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 you can't even get a wedge of paper uh, between Cruz and Rubio. They're that close in the popular vote, both of them trailing on Donald Trump. But again, uh, to, to, to make a quick snap reaction that these attacks, say what you will of them, hurt Marco Rubio, I'm not so sure. Uh, with us now, Rubio campaign spokesperson, Caitlin Conant. Um, uh, Caitlin, what do you make of that? Many are second-guessing whether the senator went too far to the degree he did. You know, the, the, the hands comment and everything else, the, the, the spray on uh, uh, makeup and all the rest. Do you think uh, he would have done better had he, had he lo lowered that a little bit or no? Look, Marco Rubio is competing to win in all 50 states. And as you guys just pointed out, he's breaking with late decided voters. So we're going to have another really strong debate with you all tomorrow night. We're going to head into the weekend, picking up more momentum. And then we're really looking ahead to March 15th, where on, in Florida, Marco is going to take home a strong win there. This home state, he's played as an underdog. He's competed there You're before. You're very confident of that. I mean, I'm very polls, confident. They're all over the map, depending on whether you read the Palm Beach Post or the Miami Herald or the Orlando <laughs> Sentinel. I know they're all over the map. But they have him still down now by double digits. <laughs> you know, the polls last week said that Donald Trump was going to beat us in Virginia by double digits. And last night, Marco gave him a strong run for his money. So it's a lot of time. And again, Marco has always been an underdog. We're the one um, candidate in this race who's competing to win in all 50 states. And he's going to bring home Florida. You can definitely count on that. All right. But if he doesn't, would he quit? No. Marco has a strong campaign. As you look at the map moving forward, um, a lot of the states are like Virginia um, last night. It's definitely more favorable for us. And by Ted Cruz's own accounts, he had a really bad night last night. He was supposed so, to so sweep minute, the SEC primary. He, he didn't have, Cruz didn't have a bad night last night. He say? did. He was supposed to sweep the SEC primary. It was the most favorable map he was ever going to have. Well, he, and he, he, did, he did pick up three states. He's got four states to date. He is second to Donald Trump. He but he said that he was going to win South Carolina, right, right, and he right. said that he was going to win the SEC no, states. Uh, okay, okay. And he's never going to have an environment like that. So right. when you look well, at the well, map so you moving might forward... Be right, you might be right, but let's get to this. <laughs> you, can, you said something that kind of intrigued me here, that even if Senator Rubio were to lose his own state, he would fight on. He will definitely fight on. Okay. Marco believes that Donald Trump is bad for the party. He doesn't think that this guy can be the person who leads the party of Reagan and Lincoln. what if he is, Caitlin? What if he is? If, if it ends up Donald Trump does get the nomination. Having said Marco all Rubio the things... is going to be the nominee. All right, all right, Donald fine. Trump is not going to be the nominee. I want you to get into my imaginary world then. If he does, <laughs> if, if Donald Trump does get it, and knowing what the senator has said about Mr. Trump, that he's a con artist, and all that, could he ever endorse him? Look, I'm not going to accept that premise. I think okay. Marco Rubio is going to be the nominee. We're going to fight. He's going to stay in the race as long as it takes to get rid of this con artist. Um, he doesn't think he's the guy who can lead our party. I think as we move forward, Marco Rubio and Donald Trump are the only ones with pathways. And Marco Rubio is going to shine. And he's going to shine in the debate. And late decide, decided voters are going to come our way. All right. Caitlin, thank you very, very much. Uh, Caitlin Conn of Rubio Campaign.